do you got in your hand, Mikey? Oh, I got something that is a two Kleenex day. No, the pattern isn't that good. The stitch may have you in a feeble position crying. So let's go down to the studio table and grab your Kleenex, your Tunisian hook, and I'm gonna show you the Tunisian slanted stitch or the Tunisian twisted stitch. I'm not responsible for any tears, alcohol consumption, over medication, or anything as a result of this particular stitch. Without further ado, let's stitch to it. <laughs> Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. So what we're looking at here is a stitch sampler. The video for this will be available at another time. But what we have here is that we have the Tunisian simple stitch, we have the Tunisian pearl stitch and we also have the Tunisian slanted stitch. Can you tell me which one is the slanted? Here I'll give you a hint. It's slanted. <laughs> this is going to uh, be your nemesis of Tunisian. Um, whoever created this owes you a box of tissues. Um, when you start something like this, the the twisted or the slanted stitch that you see here uh, could be very much a deal breaker and may make you quit. I have to tell you though once you get started on this particular stitch and understand it and also the tension with it, it becomes a lot easier. I'm not saying that will happen to you but for me that's what my story was and that's what I'm gonna stick to. So what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna get myself and I'm gonna show you how to do the Tunisian slanted stitch or the Tunisian twisted stitch. So let's get you nice and close. The next two stitches I'm about to do is a Tunisian pearl stitch. So we have videos of that. I have never filmed the Tunisian slanted stitch before so I'm just doing my pearl stitching. And I'm going to tell you a few things that when the slanted stitch is worked in combination with the simple stitch, it actually causes this particular detail to happen. Isn't that neat? So I'm going to Tunisian simple stitch the next one and then this one here is the Tunisian slanted stitch or the twisted stitch. And how you access that and I'll try to do it in one take is that you're just gonna take the hook and you're gonna leave the yarn in behind and you're going to hook that and you're gonna continually rotate it so that the hook goes up underneath like this and then you yarn over pull through. And what you've done is you've caused the stitch to twist. Okay and it causes the vertical bar to be up on a slant. So if I was to do that again, so watch. You hook it and you keep twisting up like this. I'm making this look so easy. This is when you need your Kleenex and you're gonna pull this through. It took a bit of practice for me to get this smooth honestly. So you just hook it and go up. Now if you continuously do that you can have a whole row of all your verticals up on an angle. So that is a very much of a possibility to be able to do that. So what are you thinking when it comes to um, that looks very similar to the Tunisian pearl stitch because I thought it was. So remember the Tunisian pearl when you go in you get the yarn in front, you go in the side of the vertical and I usually pinch the yarn and then pull. So I pinch and pull as I've said in other tutorials like that. So you can see it looks completely different than that. So then the Tunisian slanted or the twisted, you hook it, you twist up, it causes this to twist and the yarn over pull through. Is that cool? So that would be how you do the Tunisian twisted stitch or the Tunisian um, slanted stitch. Let me know in the comments what you think of this stitch. This is a stitch that I wouldn't necessarily do all the time but for the features that I can do to create work as you see here it's actually pretty neat and I feel it's worth the time and also I only used it like once, twice, three, four times in a row so I didn't have to drive myself completely batty but I still have a nice stitch sampler that looks like that. So this is the Tunisian twisted or slanted stitch.